Hey guys, God Dog here, and uh, first off, I'd like to give a, uh, a big shout out to DeBlumpkin. Uh, he gave me this idea for this video today, and so I'm gonna try to do some like fireworks or something. He wants something big for his shout out. I don't know, so it's gonna be kind of funny. Anyways, um, so I reached 600 mil on this account. Uh, I checked yesterday. I'll, I'll leave a link to where you guys can see the new bank picture. Uh, I'll probably do a bank video soon when my merches are done. And also, if, if anyone has any rares they can lend me, I got a couple things I, I have on, you know, I have a couple people that owe me some uh, some street right now, as well as I have a couple people that said they would, you know, donate to me, like lend me some items, so, but I'm still going to need a little bit more if anyone has anything like Fury Kids, uh, Pumpkins, Discs, kind of whatever, whatever you guys have, so. Um, at the moment, you guys can see I only have 7 mil cash. I have actually about 70 mil, but I'm uh, holding some stuff for some people, so that's kind of what's going on there. Um, so today's video is actually about street prices, and uh, you guys you might, you might, not, might not know what it is, but if uh, if you are a merchant, this is what you're going to need in most cases. This is the easiest way to get rid of junk, and uh, is, is great is used greatly. Especially if you're a merchander as well, uh, if you want to acquire some items such as party hats and stuff, you're going to have to usually pay the street price, unless you're lucky enough to, you know, snipe it. Which, with a lot of these rares, it's pretty hard to snipe, so. Anyways. So, the, re the meaning behind the street price, or the reason that, you know, a street price may happen, like uh, an item might gain street price, would be that it is sought out by a lot of players. Um, you mean meaning that there's either a low demand for it or that you know there's you know limited stock in the game and everybody wants it and if it, it doesn't sell in G or you know a lot and people just want the item like party hats and stuff which were uh, only you know there was only if it was only on that certain day right or the certain week or whatever where it was released and that's why you know certain people have it certain people don't and uh, you can't get it anymore and that's why it's you know sought out by a lot of people and that's why people will pay extra cash basically to uh, get this item uh, some other ways that it might you know something might gain street is if uh, a merchant clan merges it because especially if it's an item that people need such for you know for PK or God Wars dungeon or whatever if it's like certain potions or certain an item like a weapon or something and we have it merged out then some people will pay an actual, an actual street price for the item or um, if we're merging and they want to merge with us they might pay an extra little price to get that item fat sooner so they make profit on it um, another way that uh, another way basically those are, I would say those are basically the two ways if uh, so basically, and uh, also if a, a new item comes in the game, a lot of new items seem to have a street price when they first come in the game, until a lot more of the item comes into the game, so that's kind of what happens there. So, you know, um, when you, you, so you might be asking, like, what are these items? Um, so I got this thing right loaded right here, this is from Smoking Mills, uh, we keep this updated, well, uh, I don't even know how to say the name, but this guy right here, he keeps this updated. Basically, people will tell him, you know, kind of what the street price is, but he'll try to keep it updated. And uh, it was last updated four days ago, and it basically lets you know what, what the street prices are on certain things like party hats and, uh, you know, spirit shields, animals. Uh, you know, if you wanted to trade rares for other rares. Basically, how many stuff crashed already, but like a fury kit. And uh, I'm not sure if that's correct. But uh, I think it's actually a little bit less than that. Um, but anyways, yeah, this guy keeps it pretty pretty updated on most basically on any of the items that were uh, are discontinued, as well as you know the, the divine spirit shield, which is I think believe like you get the signal from the. Uh, God Wars dungeon boss, right? Or whatever. So, basically, yeah, this is a good place to find which items have a street. Also, some of the new TT items, not too many anymore, but uh, I believe Dragon Staff and Fury Kid have street, and I believe some of the, like the Zamrock bow and the, or whatever, the Serodome bow and stuff have a street as well right now. 
So basically, you can come here and find any street price you want. Um, you can also find it. Other places you could find it is you can find it on the RuneScape forums. You can go uh, search up your item and see kind of what people are offering for the item or what people are trying to sell the item for. As well as if you look in this area right here, we're actually in. If you're in World Two, this is where you would go to sell your items. This is usually packed, but I don't want to go in this world right now because uh, it gets really laggy and. Uh, I'll be showing you guys me. I'll show you guys me junk trading with rares and stuff and just normal stuff. And when I when I get my uh, merch is done. But uh, yeah, this is what this is where you would be trading in this uh, left corner in the bottom on world two. So when when might you use these? You know, a street price. Um, first off, I would say the biggest thing is if you have junk. If you've been merging an item and the item is done, it's called junk. If you can't get rid of it on the GE for minimum, it's junk. Um, so mainly I would use this if you have a crashing item, something that's going down 5% a day, that's a good time to use it for a rare so you don't lose cash and stuff. Um, if it's going down like 1 or 2%, you'll, most likely it'll probably bounce back up and you can probably just sell it back in the GE. Or if it's like a voodoo shield, I would 50-50 I at first. So you might be able to get another rare plus you know your junk bought off you. But um, basically I would do it on really hard crashing junk. So anything that's getting merged is basically a good time to use you use an item with a street price. Um, another another time when you might want to use this, you know use a street price is if you want to buy an item such as a party hat or something. Um, you may want to use it because uh, like if you wanted to acquire a party hat or something, you're basically probably not going to get it off the GE because it's uh, it's hard to acquire. You have to snipe it. You have to be extremely fast usually to snipe an item and have a lot of patience. So you might want to you know you might buy an item for its street if uh, like if you wanted that item, right? Um, another another time you might want to use it is if uh, a clan is merging an item for you know that you'd use for PVPing and uh, or God Wars Dungeon, such as an item that Smoking Mills is doing right now. Um, you also probably will buy if uh, if you want to. You probably have to buy you know the item for a little bit extra, so you can acquire it because it'll be pretty hard to get off the GE as well. And when or uh, and another question people might have is why would they change? Why would a street price you know either go down or go up or lose its street price you know totally? So first off, um, a street price might go down or lose its street price totally is if a merch clan merges it. If they dump say you know 10 billion, say if they have a 10 billion stock total with everybody and they use rares to dump with it. It's probably gonna, the, you know, these items will probably go down in street price or lose its street price totally because it, now there's extra rares circulating and people want to get rid of their junk, right? So, and people are gonna, you know, continuously, you know, sell for lower or buy for lower because it's crashing. They don't, no one wants to really lose junk. Um, when uh, another reason, I guess, when. Uh, might lose some street or you know lose a little bit or just totally lose their street is when the item has you know a lot more of the item comes into the game this is you know if you guys know the treasure trail items um, such as some of the kits and the, you know some of the certain things that had some street at the beginning um, the reason they lost street was because there just was too many too many in the game and everybody was trying to sell it and it just basically lost its street or uh, when the street might go up is when you know not too many is being circulated like such as crackers and wines and stuff when too, not too many are being sold and nothing is coming into the game the street will usually go up in price or you know like I said before if it comes merging it it might have had <clears throat> no street and then it just all of a sudden you know became that became you know had street so Basically, people that sell the item is basically going to be merchanters. That's basically people are going to use street, and people that you know are going to pay the street is people that want the item, or you know, PVPs or God War Dungeon. If people want to show off, like if people want to show off a party hat, they'll probably pay the street value for it. Basically, I showed you guys what the, what the items were on the other side, so that's kind of what that is. 
this, yeah, this is the area right here that's going to be where you're going to sell your street or in our, you know, RuneScape forums or certain other RuneScape kind of type forums like clans and stuff. So anyways, um, that's all I basically wanted to say today and if you guys have any questions or whatever, send me an email at uh, ask underscore goddog at hotmail.com and I'll be sure to, you know, answer, uh, answer in a video. Um, I'm planning to, I got a few questions as of right now and I'm planning to answer those all into a, in a video, like maybe a 5-10 minute video. So if you have any questions, just send me an email or send me a message on, you know, YouTube and uh, I'll be glad to answer as well. Um, just make sure you guys comment, rate, and, rate and subscribe, and uh, that'll be great. And just let me know how you guys, what you guys think. And if you guys, like I said before, if you guys have any extra rares or any, anything that you guys would like to uh, lend me, just let me know, and uh, that'd be great. Thank you, and see you guys later.